sparkling sphere problem. <laughs> Ow. It is I, Peg the Bold. A brave Sir Cat. <laughs> We're called the, the Knights, Knights of the, the Round Table. Because we totally love going uh, around and around and around. Can't see a thing, and someone needs help. We've got a big problem. Looks like whoever needs our help can't count on us right now. Counting, that's it, you amazing cat. On the count of three, we'll push apart from each other. Ready? One, two, three. Maybe if we count by twos instead. Two, four, six. helps us. Now we're going to have to help him without him helping us. Helping him help me out here. Uh, let's just take this one step at a time. <gasps> or two steps at a time. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Four hundred twenty-six. Four hundred twenty-eight. Do this without singing. Okay, we're looking for a sparkling sphere. That says, help! A sphere you want? What do you think I look like? That sphere loving dragon who lives in the cave? So you can't help us? We'd give anything to find it. Anything? I do like those helmets. We'd be happy to give you our helmets if you can guide us to the sparkling sphere. Hey, good hinge quality on the visors. What about the sparkling sphere? Uh, right. Sparkling sphere. That's the same blue cube you tried to palm off on us before. Not a sparkling sphere. Oh, okay. There's your sparkling sphere. Sorry for the mix-up. And see? It floats. Briefly. A sphere is round, like a ball. That's a cube. Six flat sides and all the same size. This is the latest in sphere technology. New and improved, so it never rolls away. Uh-uh, not buying it. You could call that thing Horace J. Flotz Blossom the third for all I care. It would still be a cube. Horace J. Flotz Blossom? The third. It just came to me. Mermaid! Did I hear you mention a sparkling sphere? Yes! Have you seen it floating round here? Oh, I haven't, but... And we're back to the singing. A sparkling sphere, not cube and not cone. Floating in flight means one thing alone. You're seeking the mighty wizard from home. You're seeking the mighty wizard from home. You're seeking the mighty wizard from home. Trying to find the kindly Ramon. The Ramon is in trouble, but we don't know why. Or what, where, or how, he just floated by. <gasps> Ramon is in trouble? Sparkling thing. He stole my golden pyramid. He does love his boy. We must save Ramon. We must save Ramon. We must save Ramon. The hands of the king. The needy and city. Indeed. We shall go. We shall go. Just please go to the king. 
of equal length. Rhombus. <gasps> it likes when you call it a rhombus. And knowing what to call shapes can be key to getting places in this world. And this is a rectangular prism. It's a solid shape that's got a rectangle on every side. You can't get more rectangular than that. What's that you got there? A rectangular prism? I'll make you a fair trade for it. One blue cube, newly sparkled. Be careful. This rectangular prism has magical powers. Magical powers? Whatever you point it at will get out of your way. All right, you twisted my arm. Two cubes and a pyramid. Whoa. Fine. I can tell when I'm not wanted. Thanks for these gifts, Mermaid. I'm sure they'll come in handy. Brave Knights of the Round Table to the castle. The throne room is back there. But how are we going to get past? all these clothes blocking our path. Kai, you're mm. brilliant! We use the rectangular prism to get the poles out of our way. Great! Can I just finish? All yours. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Wow! How'd we ever get by with one of these magical rectangular prisms. Life was hard back then. It's locked! Maybe there's a key around here someplace. A key! That's it, you brilliant genius face! Mermaid said that knowing the names of shapes is key to getting places. I bet she was trying to tell us that this is the key to getting in there. The rhubarb? No, uh, Rhonda. Mm, ra, Rom ra, rhombus! <laughs> Ay, Carambus! Aha! We found you, Your Highness! We, the Knights of the Round Table, are here to rescue the Wizard Ramon. Even if we have to look in every nook, in every cranny, under every pig. Excuse me, Your Majesty. Thank you. We shall find him, for he is here! <laughs> for he is out there! And... Sorry about all that. We'll be back to clean all this up later. Whoa! Oh, that was fun. And at the same time, not. Cat, look! It's the dragon's cave. Of course, the dragon loves spheres. Ramon, we're coming to save you. Soon ish. Not a problem. Can we just stop for a second and sing a song about how awesome this rectangular prism is? It's a uh, we should probably just save Ramon. Definitely! Hey there, knights. Care for a game of bounce? We're not in the mood to play, dragon. Where is the sparkling spear holding wizard Ramon? I'm under here. You said underwear. <laughs> I said underwear. <laughs> underwear. Underwear. <laughs> Under oh. Ramon, can you get out of that sphere? Need sparkle first. Ramon's totally lost his sparkle. And he's totally stuck inside a totally lost sphere. I am totally freaking out. <laughs> Right. I should count backwards from ten by twos to calm down. No. Count forward by twos to twenty. Everybody who believes in wizards, and I'll regain my sparkle. Everybody who believes in wizards needs to count forward by twos. But there's only one, two, three of us here. Where are we gonna find more people to count with us? Did you check the pool? Yay! Okay, everybody. And you too. If you believe in wizards, count by twos to 20. And if you don't believe in wizards, ta-da! There's a wizard! What more proof do you need? So let's count! Two, four, six, eight, ten! It's working! Keep going! Twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty! Phew! That's 
much better? So by knowing about shapes and what to call them and how to count by twos, we had totally saved our friend the mighty wizard Ramon. Math can restore your sparkle. And so... Problem solved. The problem is solved. We solved the problem. So everything is awesome. Problem solved. Great work, brave knights. Ramon, I was wondering, why do you float around in a sphere anyway? Good question. Well, I tried floating in a cylinder. Tried floating in a cylinder. But I didn't find a cylinder. Didn't find a cylinder. Then I tried a pyramid. Then he tried a pyramid. But I gave that up, that's what I did. He gave that up, that's what he did. A rectangular prism, cube, stone. Thank you for your understanding. But we really need a drummer, and our gig's really soon. We've got a big problem. We've just got to have that special beat. Something smooth. Something cool. Something like that. You did it again, you amazing cat. You found a pig who's an incredible drummer. Play a 
weird note? Oh, no! It's coming from outside! Sounds like someone's in trouble! <laughs> Past the house of twigs, and the house of straw, at the house of bricks. No! What's wrong, little piggies? We're going to sing a concert really soon! When we three little pigs sing together, we call ourselves the Terrific Three! <laughs> but our brother doesn't want to sing today! He wants to play drums with the three bears! He's a really good drummer, too! I know! He's got the funk! Can't you sing without him? You could be the terrific, uh, one, two! We need his low voice to go with our high voices! Huh. Ooh, you have a low voice! What do you say, Cat? Want to sing with the pigs? I won't be a singer or a drummer. My dream is to dance, to dance, to dance. <laughs> Thank you anyway, though. But we need to find the pigs a singer. And fast! We've got a really big problem! <laughs> so you want a voice that's low? Maybe even rough. And gruff, like... I gotta tell you, yo. That? That is one gruff billy goat. I'm good at finding talented animals, right? <laughs> so can he sing with you guys? Let's see how we sound together. Testing, one, two. The sound system's broken. No! I can fix that. Ramon? Hey, Peg. You're a techie today? <laughs> I repaired your system and made your app better than before. See? Ooh. This dial controls how loud you can go. The higher the number, the louder it gets. It used to go up to 10, but now it can go one louder, up to 11. Thanks, Ramon. I do what I can. Turn it up, cat. All the way to 11. Yes. I gotta tell ya. Two pigs plus one goat equals... One, two, three. Three singers. Even better than we used to be. We are the even more terrific three. We added that one singer you needed. And so... Problem solved. The problem is solved. I got to tell you. We solved the problem. It's a very problemy day. Pass those seven dwarves. <laughs> in that long blonde hair. By that bridge. This is bad. Very bad. Don't tell me. You're two of the three belly goats gruff, but the third goat left you so he could sing. With pits. This is just like what happened before. Crazy, right? We need our brother for our dance show, which is really soon. <gasps> dance? Ballet. <laughs> We've got another really big problem. When we dance together, we call ourselves the Graceful Three. <gasps> They're dancers! We're still graceful, but we're not three! They'd be one, two, three with me! You couldn't just be the graceful two? We need someone to dance between us and do leaps and spins and all kinds of amazing steps. Cat, didn't you want to be a dancer? Um, duh! Let's see what you can do. Mm, gladly. Not bad. I am living the dream. Two goats plus one cat equals the graceful. Uh, usually graceful three. We're graceful usually, the usually graceful three. You added the one more dancer you needed. And so, problem solved. The problem is solved. Time for our gig, Peg. <laughs> we going to the stage. We want to do our show, too. Can we do our show first? How about if instead of one group performing after another, we all team up? So the Fabulous Five would play 
The even more terrific three would sing. Yow! And the usually graceful three would dance. Ow. All at the same time. Let's, Let's do, do it! it. came to see our show. The biggest crowd I've ever seen. Whoa! Not just big, giant! <laughs> Two giants came down the beanstalk to see <gasps> what's our new group with all of us called? Uh, the Super Six? Uh, the Amazing Eight? Uh... To create the group's name, let's figure out how many of us there are all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. What comes next? I hate it when I totally forget things that I totally know. Can anybody remind me what comes after ten? I'm good to ten, but after that... It gets weird, right? Oh, yeah. For sure. I gotta tell you. If I don't know how many of us there are, I can't make up a great name for our group to announce to the crowd. I am totally freaking out. <laughs> Chill, pig. Cat and Baby Bear are right. I should count backwards from five to calm down. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. You did it again, you amazing cat. Yes? The amp goes past ten to eleven. Eleven's the number that's one more than ten. So we're the electric eleven. We're way more than seven. We're the electric eleven. Place it, everybody. Since we knew that two plus one is three, and four plus one is five, and after ten comes eleven, we're about to totally rock fairy tale land. Math really saved our show. And so, problem solved. The problem is solved. We solved the problem. So everything is awesome. Problem solved. Add one, add one, add one. If you want more noise from your toys, add one, add one, add one. Want more to eat? Another sweet treat. Add one, add one. You need another chair for a bear. They don't have to share if you got one to spare. Little Peg, let me in! 